5. Okay, Kaya says it's an i5. Okay, so she has one of those, right? And she's always on it. She's always listening to music, playing games, watching, um, looking at pictures. You can do so much with it. But anyway, so this particular day, I said, give me that. Let me see what you're doing. And she went to grab it like, no. I said, girl, give me that. And she was like, wait, all right, I'm going to show you. And I was like, no, you don't have to show me nothing. So at this point, I'm struggling with her to get it. For a second, I felt like I was about to hit her because I am struggling with her to get it. And I get mad. And she's like, I'm just trying to show you. I'm just trying to show you. I'm just trying to show you. And I was like, girl, I'm about to knock you out. You don't have to show me anything. And she storms off. So now my heart is beating fast because I'm struggling, almost getting ready to knock my daughter out to get this iPod, iPad from her. And... I said she stormed away and I went and got her. I said, you know, show me um snapshot, whatever you do. And she she put it on but mom, I'm gonna show you. She kept saying, I'ma show you. I said, No, let me see. Put it on snapshot. I put it on snapshot and there was this boy on there. I'm like, who is this? She's like, That's my friend. And I started reading the messages, and the messages said are you going to buy me something for Christmas? No, I'm not going to buy you nothing. You already, I know I'm not going to buy you a watch. You already got a watch. Please, please, please don't do me like that. I want you to buy me, I want you to give me a watch. Some book crap like that. But this boy was asking her to buy him something for Christmas, which was a watch. And she was saying, no, you don't need a watch. You already got a watch. And as I continued on to read the messages, she's telling this boy, I love you. He's saying, I love you. And, um, good night, baby. Oh my God. I couldn't believe it. Can you imagine how I felt at that moment? I felt like, oh, my God, I'm not like a violent person. I'm not violent toward my kids. A lot of people may feel like, oh, I'm gonna knock my daughter out. I'm gonna beat my daughter. But I just felt like, I did, I felt like mad. Like I wanted to hit her and she had stormed out. She was already in the bathroom. So I went behind her, I said, open this bathroom door. So I, I went inside the bathroom, shut the door. She's like, wait, mom, let me explain, let me explain, let me explain. There is nothing to explain. Why are you calling this dude baby? Mom, that's what I was trying to tell you. I was going to tell you. I was going to tell you. I said, what do you mean you were going to tell me? I'm dating this guy. Oh, my God. And I'm famous for that, saying, oh, my God. Because that's what I, I say. Oh, my God. What do you mean you dating this guy? Didn't we tell you you can't date? Mom, I've been dating this guy for over two years. Wait, hold up. You're not even 15 yet. Her birthday was in. No, no, she had just turned 15. So that means she been dating this boy since she was 13. What do you mean you been dating boy? Mom, Oh my God, I can't believe you. What did I tell you? What did we tell you? No, mom. Casey, how come you didn't tell me this? Two years. So when I got home, how come you couldn't tell me this? We've had the talk in the talks and we've talked. How come you didn't tell me this? I was going to tell you. I was waiting till I turned 15. I was going to tell you. Oh my God, what do you mean dating? Where he at? Who is it? What do you mean? Mom, this boy, I met him at a church. He lives in L.A. No, no, no. She, she said she met him at church in L.A. Yeah. She met him at church in L.A. Yeah, he lives in L.A. So I just felt like at that moment I was going to pass out. And thank God, like, her grandmother was here. So I'm like, oh, my God. Let's go. Let's go. And I grabbed her and I'm pushing her in the room to her grandmother. And I said, oh, my God, you're not going to believe this. So Casey says she's been dating this guy for two years. What do you what do you dating? How do you think you're dating this guy? 
This guy lives way in LA. Have you been anywhere with this guy? She said one time when she went to Nasbury Forum, he was there. Um, other than that, you know, she hasn't seen him. He lives in LA. Why? You say you love this guy. I said, I love, <laughs> yeah, y'all tripping? Love, oh my God, y'all. What do you mean you love this guy? I love him, Ma. And she's saying this in front of me and her grandmother. I love him. Oh my God, what do you mean you love him, Casey? I love him because of the time that I've known him, how I've gotten to know him. He's a nice guy. Um, he's respectful. He goes to church. I haven't seen him. <sighs> I haven't lied about anything. I just didn't tell you because I knew how you were going to react. Oh, my God. So the bottom line is after days and days of talking and I'm and, and her grandma's like, um, you have to understand that, you know, she's 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 at that age where, you know, she's going to like boys and, um, you know, she's been dating this guy, which it is not even dating. So these young girls think that. Okay, I meet a guy at school, wherever, and we chat, text, talk on the phone, then that's dating. No, that's not dating, okay? First of all, you're not dating him. And so, after me and Casey talked and talked and talked, come to find out, when I left, she was in L.A., and she met this boy, and this was the first, first boy who ever said she was pretty. She was getting picked on at the time because Casey is dark skinned. She was getting picked on because of her dark skin. Nobody liked her. Everybody always liked her friend. But then here come this boy. This boy told her she was pretty. They're the same age. This boy tell her she pretty. And she liked that. She liked that. I wasn't here for her to talk to, 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 to tell somebody how what she was feeling and what was going on. I wasn't here. So this boy was giving her some attention. You have a boy, he said she's pretty. He was talking to her, he liked her. And he asked her, you know, will you date? And she said, yeah. Even though they didn't go to work, they never hung out, they was talking on the phone or whatever. And then she started, cause he's so nice, he's so kind. You know, he says all these nice things all. <laughs> oh my God. Eventually there was love that grew. She loved him at the per as a person. She kept saying she loved him as a person. She's not in love with him, but she loved him as a person. Okay, I can understand you love him as a person. <sighs> okay, the thing about it is, you, you should have told me when I got home and we had the talk, 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 she had, she should have been able to open up during that time and tell me about this boy. But, because you kept it a secret, because you kept it a secret, because you called yourself dating, then, okay, I'm going to put you on punishment. I'm going to put you on punishment. I'm going to take away your iPod, iPad, wherever that thing is. I'm going to take away everything. You're not going anywhere. You're not going to do anything. And you're going to tell that boy that it's over. So one day we went to LA and I said, okay, where do you live? She was like, in Hollywood. So she already knew that it's, it was funny because she knew what, what I was thinking. And my I was thinking like, okay, we're going to go to his house. Because after looking at the messages and Instagram and stuff, um, he it, he's really close to his mom. His dad is not in his life. And he always says positive things about his mom. Um, so he seems like a little boy that has his head on his shoulder. He's in track. He's in football. He goes to church because I'm reading everything. He goes to church. Um, he seemed like a good boy. 16. So one year older, 16. Okay. So at this point, I just felt like, okay, well, since you guys been dating two years and I want to meet it, I, I want to let him to know that he's not going to date you no more. If that's what y'all want to call it. And uh, I want to meet his mom and see if his mom knows so I can tell his mom. Like, but me and Casey had the talk, 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 talk about boys, boys and dating. And this is not dating. And boys are always going to say the right things. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so kind. You're so sweet. You make me this. And don't fall. Don't fall for it. You cannot fall for it. You can't fall in love with the first boy who tell you, oh, he love you. <sighs> So, 
no way was I going to tell my husband because I'm thinking, oh boy, I tell my husband he is going to blow the freak up. So I didn't tell my husband. I didn't tell my husband until January 1st. And I told my husband and he got mad, but he understood. He understood. And, you know, I told him that I put her on punishment. He's like, why you put her on punishment? <laughs> why I put her on punishment? I put her on punishment because she did. Well, maybe she didn't lie, but she hasn't been honest with me. And I gave her the opportunity too many times to talk to me about boys and anybody like her. Because I asked her that when I got home. Is there any boys that like you and these feelings and kissing? All kinds of stuff. So she has had the opportunity to tell me things, but she's just been keeping it a secret. So that's why I put her on punishment because she's been keeping it a secret. And a grandma's mother feels like, okay, you know. She understands, but I have to remember that Casey is 15 now and she's going to like boys. And I have to make sure that I keep keep things, the, the communication open with Casey so she, she can come to me and talk to me about things, you know. Oh, so here we are in what, February? <laughs> it's going on two months. <laughs> My husband's like, why do you have her on punishment? Because... I think he's, a, you know what, I'm going to support you, but I don't think she should be on punishment. I said, well, she hasn't really missed anything. I want her to miss some things. You know what I'm saying? But at this point, I'm thinking, baby, maybe I better take her off of punishment. I think she really understands because she cried and cried and cried. And, and she understands how she was in a wrong. And she understands and she can see now how gullible she was and thinking like she was dating this boy and um, well, and there's nothing wrong with meeting somebody, getting to know somebody and loving them. There's nothing wrong with that because I do want her to love people, you know, but don't think like, oh, this is your boyfriend. You love him. You know, this too is totally different. So I think she understands everything. She and she's a big girl. She's like, I'm, I'm willing to accept the consequences for my action. You know, she's very responsible and whew. So at this point, I'm thinking, should I take her off a uh, time out of this guy? <laughs> should I take her off of punishment? It's not punishment, you know. Um, should I should I take her off? Should I take her off? Maybe it's time to just take her off. And she understands that. I let her know, like last week, like when I give her that thing back, like she no longer can chat, chat, whatever that stuff they do and all that. I'm not going to let her do that no more. And I know that I have to continue to talk and talk and talk and talk and boys and boys and boys and boys because she's, she's at that age, you know. So my husband said, no, she can't date until never, <laughs> like never, you know. He said, well, maybe at 16, if she can prove to us that she's responsible, we can trust her at 16, then we'll let her date. And you know, when I do take her off this punishment, um, off her discipline, I'm going to let her know that, okay, you have showed us that you're not, you're not, um, trustworthy because she kept it a secret. And at this point, we definitely don't feel like you could date. If you feel like you have to keep it a secret from us, you know, and, and hopefully by next year, she'll be ready. But I still have her on this discipline, punishment, or whatever you want to call it. It's not a punishment. And um, I don't want to take her off. I don't ever, ever, ever want to take her off. <laughs> I don't want her to go anywhere or do anything. <gasps> oh, my God. But should I should I let her off? It's time. Huh? All right, you guys. Let me know what you think, okay? To all my new subscribers and my old subscribers, thank you so much for coming over and watching my videos. And thank you for supporting my channel. And until the next video. Peace.